Afternoon all. Well now it's a reasonably nice day today so I thought I'd test some of these batteries on my uh, solar power station. Um, I'm going to test the bottom three because it's fairly easy to disconnect those. In fact you can see that I've removed the negative cable from those and so they're all isolated and I've connected up this which is a battery tester. It's the Sealy BT102. Now I haven't used this thing for a while so I've just been uh, reading up on how it works and I think I've got the hang of it. So I've hooked it up to the uh, left hand battery. Let's test this one first. So first thing it shows is battery voltage. Now that's showing 12.81. One of the problems with this is because it's LED it's almost impossible to read in daylight which is a bit silly. It would have been much better if it was liquid crystal but never mind. So it's a battery um, test. This thing has the option of doing a system test. Syst. That's to test the alternator and battery. So we'll do battery. It's an SLI which is starter, lighting and ignition. The other option is seal which is a sealed lead acid. Um, now there are different um, types or specification types, EN, IEC, DIN, SAE and CA. Now CA appears to be cranking amps, bracket marine cranking amps. All the others are cold cranking amps, which is the normal measure. Now I've got no labels on this thing, so I'm just going to go for EN. Then you enter what the actual cranking amps of this battery is. Again, I don't know, so I've just put in a default number of 250 and then it runs the test. Now that's come up as 247 and you can see that little green light has come on so that's saying that it passed. It passed because I said it was a 250 amp CCA battery. I don't know whether it is but anyway it's given me the answer 247. So now this middle battery which is a bit bigger um, that's reading 12.7 battery SLI EN 250 and that's only giving me 167 and you can see that the uh, red light has come on there so that's saying it failed now this thing should be a lot more in fact this one's got a label on it this one should be 590 CCA so I told it it was 250 and it still failed so there's definitely something wrong with that middle battery and now the one on the end, which is bigger still, no label on this one, so it's all guesswork. So voltage is 12.85, BAT, SLI, EN. So we'll go for 250, even though it's a lot more than that. And that's coming up 531, so that's obviously passed. Um, so that one would appear to be in reasonably good nick. So the middle one is definitely suspect that came up with a very low amp value let's do another different kind of test on it so with the Sealy tester as a voltmeter that's reading 12.69 and now putting a inverter on there with a 100 watt incandescent bulb so let's switch that on so that's come on now the voltage is dropping pretty quickly that's down to 11.9, 11.8, oh, 11.3 now, 10 point something. And that's the inverter. Inverter's not happy with that. And it's given up. Let's turn it off. And the battery voltage is creeping back up 12.4. So that didn't last very long at all, driving the uh, 100 watt lamp. Let's try this big one on the end, which appears to be in much better condition. So that one's reading 12.75. Let's switch on the inverter. No, it's not making a very good connection. Right, that's working now. And the voltage is dropping 12.4. 
12.2. Now I would expect that with that sort of load on it to settle around 12 volts probably. So I'll just leave that on for a bit and uh, see if it can hold its voltage. So that's been on for a minute or so and that's holding 12.1. So unless I sat here and watched it for an hour or so I won't really know what sort of capacity is in that battery but at least it's holding its voltage so I'm reasonably happy with that one. Okay I'm just going to test the left hand one with the inverter. So the little battery on the left is reading 12.6. Let's switch on the inverter and that drops fairly quickly to 12.2 12.1 so we'll leave that for a little bit so after a minute or so that one's hovering around the 12 volt mark it is a smaller battery so I guess that's uh, fair enough but that one I would I would think is okay so I think I'll leave that one in circuit so that middle one is definitely no good that's going to come out so a bit of WD on these bolts because they're a bit corroded and then I'll uh, take that one out of circuit. So that one's been removed. Now I've just noticed on here there's a label that says first charge code date 4901. So I'm assuming that means week 49, 2001. Well that's 13 years ago. So it's not surprising this battery's had it if it really genuinely is 13 years old. So there it is, uh, the bottom two batteries are known to be good. I will test the top three at some point. Uh, that one's come out. Of course I'll remove those um, battery wire clips off it for uh, future use. And then I'll take that one down the tip.